Hey, what's up? I'm Guy. I'm John. This is our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Give this video a like. Check out our podcast below in the description. Now, coming up on Thursday, we'll have a couple Thursday night Thanksgiving games that will uh, leave something to be desired. Sunday night football was incredible, John. Feels like uh, rivalries. Ri I don't want to say back, 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 like Berman back. Back, but, back, back, back. Rest in peace, home run derby 2020. Uh, I I Raiders. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Raiders Chiefs was, that was an awesome Sunday night game. And I honestly, maybe it's because there's no crowd. It was weird. Even when Kelsey standing in the end zone with a game winning touchdown, it still felt to me like the Raiders won the game. Like they were, I don't know. It was weird. It was really weird finish. Yeah. I, there was a lot of buildup for this game, right? It started with the buses <laughs> around Arrowhead. Yeah. The, clearly the big fella. Driver. The big fella, I think, kind of used his bulletin board material. They were fired up. And I listen, we all thought deep down, maybe some diehard Raider. I, I thought they were going to get rolled. I, and had you the, could tell, I had the Chiefs minus six and a half. I was so happy with that. You could tell early on that, like, holy shit, the Raiders came to play. That first drive, boom, scored a touchdown. And it was like, God, they are bringing it. And the game was just, I mean, it was fantastic, guy. You had you had the best quarterback in the league against Derek, who's one of the more polarized, you could argue the most polarizing quarterback in the league, right? Because a lot of people rank him high, but then people in the league think he's shitty, but then fans think he's shitty, but then some fans think he's great. I yeah, I would say over the last, like, five years, him and Cousins. But, yes, I think you could definitely make the Dak, case. Dak, maybe. I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a short it's a short list. For sure. Uh, I, I think Jimmy became that this year a little bit. But Derek universally was awesome tonight. I mean, was fantastic. I'd have to really do a deep dive. Playing with a little bit less pressure that that kind of MVP year, like people weren't coming out to get him really. Like this year, with everyone watching against the Chiefs or the defending Super Bowl champs, for and they hit it on in the broadcast. Al, you know they've talked about Tom Brady coming in, how much they really like Gruden, and then they're talking about how they're on the same page. And then you watch Derek run the offense. John, I, I'm watching this game thinking John really believes in him. Now, obviously, he should the way he's playing, but like. I, it's not even arguable after watching that they're on the same page. Cause like when you watch Mahomes and that offense, you go, that's a well-oiled machine. You, it's hard to come away with another thought about the Raiders than their well-oiled machine on offense. Right. After you watch that performance. Yeah. And really Kansas city's flaws on defense, partly exploited just by a Raiders offense. That was fantastic. And we'll get to Derek. We'll do a discussion about Derek, but, um, it's crazy to me after watching that game that the Raiders are six and four in the seven seed in the AFC because they looked fantastic, right? Like that team, the math aside, because right now you, you we've just got a dogfight in the AFC for that seven seed between them and the, who would have thought the Ravens at six and four, and even Cleveland's at seven and three. You're like, well, what in the world is that? Well, the Raiders have beat them. The Raiders right. have beat them, but they're a game in the loss. There's yeah, a game but back. For, I, I had this thought during the game with the Ravens. I bet if you really look deep, the Ravens' defense is better than the Raiders. But the way he's playing and the way Lamar's playing as a quarterback, there, there's not even an argument who you'd rather face. You would rather face the Lamar Jackson right now than Derek because in 2020, in the history of the NFL, throwing quarterbacks – create fear in defensive coordinators in a big spot in big games. That's how you win. It's why the Ravens have not been winning. Now, overall, we'll see the Ravens are playing on Thursday night, which is a massive game on the road at Pittsburgh, but like the way Lamar plays and we can even go the other teams, Baker Mayfield guy, he's barely, he barely threw for over 200 yards today. Like he's just not Derek's I don't even, better quarterback. You don't even need to tell me what he did. Yeah. I, I mean, he's, I we know Derek's better than Baker. The point is all the other wild card teams like, Derek's just a better player than. Now, it does feel like whoever doesn't win the AFC South is going to get that spot for sure. Mm -hmm. I still have a hard time thinking the Ravens won't make it, but if they lose Thursday, who knows? The Raiders just, this was part of the deal, even though you'd already beat the Chiefs, why tonight was pretty big. You lose it. I think the hard part about losing this game for them is they go, fuck, I don't think we can play that much better. Our, I mean, our defense 
we can say our defense could, but they just don't. Like they, do the defense think, is the defense. Yeah, that's true. But I would say this: you play that game ten times. Just if that's what you roll out every week in the league, you're just gonna be a playoff team, right? Well, guy, I, I tweeted middle of the game. How many throws tonight? I thought Mahomes made three or four throws that I just considered like silly, like just in NFL circles they would just we use this word a lot elite like it just maybe him and and Rodgers are the only guys that make that throw I mean physically Josh Allen can make the throw but he wouldn't like the guy the, the throw he hit to like Travis Kelsey rolling out to his left he made another throw to uh to Tyreek Hill he just made several throws that their D- DBs were like in position if those DBs just played like that normally they would be easily 11-12 win team. And and now, like you said, the record is the record. You just – it's going to be hard. You just – to get to 10-6, and six, even though they're clearly – they probably have a 12 or 13 win offense, 6-7 win defense, and you just meet somewhere at 9 or 10, right? Yeah, I, I, I do think the saving grace for them – now it's hard. I shouldn't say the saving grace because the Ravens are out right now, so you're still battling for their spot. But I don't think the Browns at seven and three are going to make the playoffs in the AFC. Yeah, but we remember we looked at their schedule. They're fucking playing nobody. Well, but I think they got three losses on their schedule coming up. They play Tennessee. They play Baltimore. They play Pittsburgh, Cleveland. Now you're right. They also have Jacksonville, the Giants, and the Jets. So they might be a ten and those six. Those are their, those are their next three games, right? Uh, n- no, I gave you the three wins and the three losses, not in any you particular. Have, you have order. the schedule right now. Up. The Browns go Jacksonville, Tennessee, back-to-back road games, Baltimore at home. So they will be eight and three, and then they could go two losses, go to eight and five, right. and well, then the, well, they'll go two wins because then they got the Jets and the Giants, or reverse that Giants and Jets. Then they got Pittsburgh to finish, but Pittsburgh. Well, so they get ten and six. You're right. Pittsburgh might not have nothing to play for. Well, but the way the Chiefs are playing, they might. Chiefs are only a one loss. Pittsburgh's unbeaten. They might have the to Chiefs, win that the game. The Chiefs still the Chiefs still play the Saints and they still play the Bucks. But you, but to your it's point, hard to tell. Like but my you, point, they, the they do have a game path to ten and six without beating a good team. You might have to use that Browns tiebreaker. Now, but the Browns just might get like to me. The Browns probably get in. The Raiders would get in at ten, and the Ravens. But then the loser at ten. Yeah, it's gonna they're, more than likely. A 9-10 win, I think, team will view as a playoff-level team will not yeah, make in the AFC. I, well, after and, what it you could, said, and it could be the Raiders. I think, say what you, I, I think you're right. I think a 10-win team might miss the playoffs in the AFC. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. I didn't see that. I didn't envision that happening early on. But I didn't no. envision the Browns winning 10 games. No. I think the hard part would be, if you're the Raiders, you start looking at it and start doing some math. You handled your business against them, right? And they just might have an easier path to get to ten than you do. Now, they still got two games against Miami and Indy. They got to take care of. Uh, you know, tonight the other thing was for a split second when it looked like God, the Raiders could win this game when Witten scores a touchdown. I started thinking like the division they would have swept the Chiefs and been one game behind them with some tough games coming up for the Chiefs. It wouldn't have been out of the realm of possibility. Yeah, but that that unofficially kind of ended tonight the Chiefs unofficially won the AFC West now with a three-game lead which they st- it still would have been hard for the Raiders even if they would have won the game but it definitely would have been a talking point right it would have been you know the Raiders have who do they play next week uh the Falcons Atlanta. you've been like god oh, they just keep racking up wins yeah uh but now they're battling that's what we talked about this during the week like you lose the worst case you lose and you play well because then you're thinking like god you're feeling good about yourself but then you start doing the math you just find yourself in this weird spot in an AFC that, safe to say, is a little bit better than we thought was going to be. I think it's better than the NFC by far. But the the irony deep. is that part of it is because Baltimore, but but because Baltimore's out right now. But a huge part of that is that the Raiders look as good as they look. Like that's part of why the AFC. The, Ste- the Steelers better. could knock the Ravens out, kind of though. Not out, out, but like they're six and five. They would be in shambles. Yeah, this is a must. This is a huge game for the Ravens. Yeah, it is. It is. But I, but 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 I just think part of the reason the AFC feels better than we thought is because the Raiders look like they're better than a six and like they feel to me like a seven and three team, not a six and four team. I think the I think the Browns too. I mean, the Browns are seven and three. I give them no respect, but you're right. They are seven and three. They are. I. Can you imagine what that would have been like with a crowd Sunday night? Chiefs, 
Raiders feeling like that? I mean, honestly, I special. honestly I can't because it's hard for me to inv- like I don't know quite what the Vegas. Fa- I was thinking about that while the game was going on. I'm like, I, I was texting with someone. I'm like, this place would be ape shit. I'm like, well, I've never seen it. Like, what would the crowd be like? The, yeah. It is still an unknown, point. right? It is. I I do think it would be, but could it just be a lot of super rich people flying in? I mean, is it? If you told me, I just get the crowd that you and I have spent so many Sundays at on, and you just put them there, I'd be like. That place would be fucking going bonkers. But, but I don't. Of, uh, but I will is say, that the case? a bunch of super rich people in Vegas do act kind of crazy, even if it's a white collar crowd. True. And people have always said that, like, you know, some of the people painted up in the black hole were like a lawyer and like Ram. It's like, so you just, you never underestimate that. But the the, the Coliseum oh. crowd had a legit edge to it. I, I just, I don't know. And that's, that's but, one thing we don't know. This, I, is, what, I, this is what I always I, said. You could Vegas have Vegas will be better than SoFi, but right. I have more confidence in Vegas than so far. Yes, yeah. But you could have the whole black hole there. That's still you, most of the seats in the stadium is not the black hole. Like, right? The black hole makes it look intimidating, but the the, the you need everybody in every seat to really make the thunderous. Yeah, but I but like noise. who are those people? You know? Yeah, I locals. I think Vegas is gonna. I do think the people in Las Vegas. Here's the other thing: Are they gonna roll into the stadium now? Off of like, are they gonna? I don't know. That's a whole other conversation, but I was just saying it. I think Vegas will uh, will show up for these guys next year. They keep well, yeah, if you factor in like what they did for the hockey, they should be pretty passionate. 